the war of words between President Donald Trump and North Korea over threats posed by Pyongyang's nuclear programs already has people on the tenterhooks, with some fearing a probable war that can take nuclear dimensions. Conservative political commentator Tommy Laren took the war theme in an entirely different direction by adding millennials to the mix, after she watched someone apparently having trouble placing a heavy bag into the overhead compartment on a flight, she tweeted as I watch millennial men struggle to lift their bags into the overhead bin I am reminded how FD we are if there's a draft, trending now Twitter reacts to Donald Trump thanking Vladimir Putin for expelling US diplomats a draft is a system for selection of young men for obligatory military service administered in the United States. States. Currently, the U.S. relies on voluntary military service even though young men are required to register with the Selective Service. While the proposal of a draft is far from becoming a reality, the portrayal of millennials being weaker than their predecessors was enough to bring adverse reactions, especially when Laren herself is a millennial. Though Laren's tweets have gained traction before on the social media platform, this particular tweet didnt go down well with both veterans and civilians. Responding to the tweet, Brandon Friedman, an entrepreneur and former Obama administration official, pointed out that six millennials have been awarded a Medal of Honor for their bravery in Afghanistan and Iraq. Senior political writer John Halter Wang pointed out that about a third of the active military personnel were under the age of 30. Here are some of the best reactions from Twitter over the whole shebang after receiving much hostile reaction from Twitter users. Laren tweeted what she wrote was meant to be taken as a joke. First of all, take a joke. Second, you are right and those who have joined the military voluntarily would not be drafted. Eric meet my point, she wrote. Laren then moved on from commenting on the topic and started retweeting articles about Hillary Clinton and liberals supporting Trump's border wall. While some in the U.S. are not happy with Trump's rhetoric regarding North Korea, there are a few who have argued about the next course of action, including bringing the draft back to deal with the evolving situation. There are also some who have painted Trump as a warmonger. Recently, Anne Frank Center for Mutual Respect went as far as drawing alarming parallels between Trump and Adolf Hitler. The tweet drew plenty of reactions, with some in agreement with it and others against it.